say that there's lots of changes that are happening on a planetary level in 2009 and 2010, which really align with what's happening happening in the marketplace, and they affect everybody, you know, differently. Whenever a planet changes, it affects somebody, each star sign in a different area of their life. So. Uh, hence, the daily stars are written in the weekly and the monthly, and so. But um, what's happened last year? We had a couple of major sort of planetary changes. So Pluto, which is the planet of transformation, uh, moved into Capricorn. Now, Pluto likes to sort of, if anything's not working, it sort of like it builds it down. It sort of disintegrates it. It pulls it apart. And we had all that that happened last year with. You know, the economy, how it, um, you know, it just went down. Uh, but the other thing that happened is that uh, because it moved into the sign of Capricorn, Capricorn builds things up. So as it's being um, disintegrated and transformed and pulled apart, then Capricorn's building it up. Now, Saturn, which is the ruler of Capricorn, moved into the 10th house. Uh, late last year. Now, what that signifies is that uh, it's moved into the side of Libra. So, what that signifies is that it's building things up again at a more, uh, let's say, equal space. Because the one thing Libra likes to do is Libra likes to have everybody happy. So, they likes to uh, the the vibration of the Libra sun sign looks for peace, amicable situations where it's a win-win situation. So, you've got like this build down and this build up. So. So it's like everything's being transformed. So it's it's almost like life has to move into a chaotic state before it can be built up and renewed. And that's what I predicted would start to happen at the end of October in 2009. Um, and in fact, that's what did it has actually started to happen. So fortunately. We're all starting to feel like there's light at the end of the tunnel, and we're going to start to come out of it. But as President Obama said, it's not going to happen overnight. Now, what else is happening this year from a planetary standpoint is that Jupiter, which is the planet of good fortune and expansion, moves into a couple of different signs. It actually starts with Aquarius, and Aquarius is a sign that you know wants to. It's a humanitarian sign, so you've got all that good fortune vibration from Jupiter, wanting to be more humanitarian. Then it goes into um, uh, uh, Pisces, which is a more philosophical sign. So things become a little more lighter, brighter. Uh, people start to be a bit more inspired and have hope that things are going to, you know, start to get better. Then it actually moves into Aries. Now Aries is like a go-getter sign, so it's like a competitive sign. So then you have all that good fortune being more competitive. Now this really comes on more in 2011. So. By 2011, it's like this next year is we're getting on top of things. By 2011, then we're really rocking it. Okay, we're really back on the top. So that's my prediction that things are going to start to get much better this year, and 2011 is the real that we're really back. The other major planetary change is um, Uranus. Now, Uranus is a planet of creativity and uh, originality, and a sudden change as well. Now, uh, that has a great effect this year on the motivation that people have. So it's almost like if we can think it, it's like that saying, if you can conceive it, believe it, you can achieve it. And that's what Uranus helps us do. So I think we're in for a much better year this year, and I think by 2011, we'll all be pretty happy with the progress that we've made on a world economic level level as well as a personal level. I hope you all have an amazing year. There's a, some great things happening for each and every star sign this year. Um, please come back and tune in to the monthly horoscopes and see what's happening for you. And um, thanks for listening and we'll see you soon. Bye.